Oh, done this before. He <laughs> definitely has. <laughs> Let's come down. Here we go. Here we go. And this is what it's about. Here we go. Look, see oh. that wafter in his mouth. Look, see. Yeah, well it's done. nice and steady. Nice and steady. Catch the monkey. Oh. In she goes. Way. Yes. We caught a fish, Wayne. Look at that, look. We've catched a fish. Hello. Good morning. It's not Chesil Beach. Mm, where are we? Anyway, as you know by now, my name's Wayne. You've clipped on the thumbnail, so you know it's something different. I've got a very special guest. You all know him by now. But we're going to get set up, and when we bring you back, we'll let you know what we're up to, and hopefully, like normal, we can get a few fish. Well, as I've just said in the intro, we're somewhere a little bit different. And I've certainly got a very special guest that we've seen on the channel before. So hello to Mr. Chris Ponsford. Morning are we... all, morning all. Take it away. Well, <laughs> my man, here we are. Special place, this Shearwater Lake in deepest Wiltshire on the Longleat Estate. And without giving away my age, because you know I'm old anyway, I was coming here a long time ago. And I've been coming back here every now and again for a long time, even though I've moved away up into the sunny Midlands. Anyway, but today, me and Wayne, we thought we'd, uh, we'd bring you somewhere different. We're going to try and catch a few bream, maybe a carp or two, on this lovely lake. And it's a, it's a proper scenic lake, this one. This is a natural lake. It's just part of the estate. They've been doing a lot of tree cutting lately. All the rhododendrons that were on the far bank, they seem to be all being cut down now. But anyway, we've come back to an old haunt. We're chucking a good old range, but we'll give you a bit more about that info later. We're coming out of winter. We've had some cold old weather, haven't we? And this is not a particularly deep lake in this particular spot. I'm only getting a count of three to four, you know, as it's dropping down, which is not a lot. The deepest water is up by the dam there. And, but now it's getting a little bit warmer. The fish are starting to move around a bit more. So I'm on a spot here to sort of, well, I'd say you'd call it towards the middle of the lake, you know. And uh, there's an old stream bed runs through this lake and quite often the fish get round there. But what I've done now, we've just had a couple of chucks and we're just looking for liners on the tip. Okay, we might get a bite, but just to see if there's any movement with a fish hitting the line, which might give the game away. It could be we're too far out or not far enough. Definitely, yeah. So we've got to just wait and see. So with bream fishing and carping, you're not looking for hundreds of bites, but once those bream move in, they want a bit of grub. So what I'm having to do is I'm going to recast now and I'm going to have some regular casts to try and get some of those pellets out there to give them a bit of bait. And I might just shorten my range slightly because I'm right, I think, on the limit of this rod. I've got a bigger rod with me, but this one's not quite as powerful as that, but very enjoyable to play fish on. Yeah, definitely, yeah. You know, which is the game, isn't it? We love that. Yeah, so obviously we haven't got any tide pool like normal. No. So we can pre-bait is what we do in the course We can put world. a bit of bait in, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. We can hopefully bring the fish to our area. But as Chris has said, it's quite a big lake with lots of different depths. And the fish could be pretty much anywhere. We've seen a few fish around this area jumping and moving. But we're not sure, are we? No, we're not, to be honest with you. And, and with bream fishing, you could be sat here two or three hours, not a bite. And all of a sudden they move in because you've got a bit of bait out there by then and it's all action you know so hopefully we won't have to wait that long yeah you know So what happened, Chris? Well, I'll tell you what happened. We were in the wrong place. Yeah. That's what happened. Because when we got here, 
We couldn't get through that gate. We didn't know the code. We hadn't seen the bailiff. I said to Wayne, I want to be on them lawns. I was there once before, but it was nice deep water. And I know that in the matches they've been catching on here. And where we was getting a count of three, I've got a count of 12. That's better, that's better. Hit the clip, that was good. So are you right to explain to people what the clip is? Yeah, so I've basically I've cast out where I've decided to cast. I've, I've found a distance I like and a good depth there. And what I do, I've just cast it out and I've put the line around the back of the line clip on the reel. So the, the idea is I want to go every time to the same distance roughly. Oh, there's a little pool then, Wayne. That's a bite. That's a bite, that's a bite, Wayne. We're into a fish, just like that. That feels like a car. I don't think that's a bream. <laughs> It's a big bream, isn't it? If that's a bream. <laughs> oh God, I'm on the bloody clip. Oh, Ooh, that's it, I'm off. That's right, we sorted it. I'm off the clip. Flipping it, Wayne. That's it's all big... happening here, boy. So yeah, first oh. cast. Oh, look. Oh my days. <laughs> oh my days. What have you done? What that's not know? a bream, this is a bream this session. This is not a bream, this is not a bream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, actually second cast to be technical. Oh yeah. Hit the clip. And then the next thing, the tip's going round. But with these carp, it's like the match boys, if you get 10 bites and you catch 10 carp, you're going to have 100 pound on here. Yeah. And that'd be jolly good weight. Well done, Chris. No, that's it, I thought the reel was jammed then. <laughs> Anything can happen. So I'm using back wine and a bit of clutch as well, Wayne. Yeah, I did notice that. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful lake. Yeah, there's no rushes see. there for these bad boys. Vivi guy next to us. We've not seen this fish yet. No, but he's, he's a lot, lot closer than when he started, isn't he? <laughs> and that's definitely a good thing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And there was a bit of, uh, I've got to say, there was a little bit of histrionics when I had to release the clip. Because that was the, the defining moment of the fight, really. I know, we're very lucky, yeah. We as, were, weren't we? As Chris was saying, when we got rudely interrupted by this fish. I know. That like Chris is using a clip to enable him to cast in exactly the same place. Of course, this fish just ripped off and took line to the clip. And then you have a moment where fortunately we haven't had to bleep anything out. No, because I'm very good like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm all good, man. I'm all good. Done this before. You <laughs> definitely have. <laughs> Let's come down. Here we go. Here we go. And this is what it's about. Here we go. Look, see oh. that wafter in his mouth? Look, see? Yeah, well it's done. nice and steady. Nice and steady. Catch the monkey. Oh. In she goes. Way. Yeah. <laughs> we caught a fish, Wayne. Look at that, look. We've catched a fish. Well, that was a bit of a good start, actually. We didn't feel it on the other spot. So we thought, we'll ask the bailiff, he knows. So he's put us around here, where I wanted to come in the first place. Second jump. <laughs> Barely gone in about a minute. I know, yeah. And the tip's going round. I thought, <laughs> it's either a bream. Is it a bream? But no. We had to frantically get it off the clip because the cart was running away from us. But anyway, that's all good. We're going to unhook this fish now. Oh yeah, I thought you were Danish. Does, does your good lady know about this? Tasty. Are you allowed this, really? I'm not going to tell her. Okay. Not tell her. Nobody will tell her. Nobody watches your channel. Only about uh, 20,000. I know. Yeah, no, it's only us. <laughs> it's just me and you. <laughs> it's me and you, boy. And the car app. But I'm look. Gonna, I'm going to slip this one back, boy. What I'll do is, because if it's going to cart the catching, I'm going to cast it on the clip. Yeah wrap it up again, but then unclip it. Yeah, yeah. So, so as soon as it's out there, and then we'll just keep repeating that. Yeah. Um, rather than, because uh, that was too hairy. If we hook a 20 pounder. Yeah, it would have smashed us up. It would have been problems. So there you go, there's a little tip from Chris. So obviously we're using a clip, that fish ripped off, and luckily Chris managed to lift the line under the clip. But if it was a bigger fish, or it went a little bit quicker, we'd have had no hope, Chris, would we? We'd have had no hope at all, Wayne. But there we are. Well, there we go. Well, that's it. 
And that is what it's all about. What we're going to do now is continue fishing and hopefully Chris can get into a few more fish for us. Well, hopefully Wayne can get some fish in a minute, boy. Yeah. It's not a carp bite, I don't think, this no. time. <laughs> Look, there could be liners. It's possible it's liners, but I think there's a fish on there, Wayne, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, there's a fish on there, Wayne. Okay. Oh, the reel's playing up again, Wayne. When I got this one in, yeah, this is a bream, this is, mate. Yeah. Oh, oh. Didn't want to bring that. This, this reel's going like. Yeah, it doesn't sound too healthy. It is. I thought it was your wrist. It's like an old, <laughs> it's like an old clanky old diesel, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, but hopefully we're going to reel this one in. I'm going to have to change reels, Wayne. How about yeah. that, eh? But we've got a fish on. Well, Chris look, listen to that. Listen to that. Well, it's like it's got a gut full of nails in there. Yeah, it's not the best. It's not the best, is it? No. Oh, dear. But it's only a bream. It's only a billy bream. I think there's a few fish out there, Wayne. I think we're going to do all right. I think we're doing all right. I don't even think we I need am to... here, by the way. I'm just watching the man. <laughs> it's very good. I enjoy watching other people fish, and that's listen, why I'm Listen to that reel. That is just... <laughs> and it's oh. nice to keep it interesting. It's not... It does, me. yeah. It's keeping it real, as they say, isn't it? That's what we do. We, 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 oh, oh, yeah. Here it is. Here it's it a nice is. bream. Hang on. It's a nice billy bream. It is. Look, if you were match fishing, they'd be loving this. love bream, don't they? Absolutely not. <laughs> But the way we're fishing for them, they're good fun. We give them a chance, that's don't it. we? Put, that's it. Get me net. Put me net in a sensible place, and I might be able to have a chance of uh, netting this here fish. Nice bream. Billy bream. Nice sheer water bream. See that pink wafter in there? It seems like there's a ruck of fish out there, Wayne, because oh. no, we haven't put much grub out there yet. Oh, nothing, have we? No. I like yeah. that. We're yeah. going to catch a few here. Hope so. <laughs> now, I've got to get all slimed up now. Yeah, we can watch this, can't oh. we? Yeah, it's hooked my finger. <laughs> Happy days. Let's get this little brilliant boom back. Well, there you go. And change that reel. Yeah, we've got to do that. Oh, we've got to do that, boy. That's not good. I think the distance I'm casting isn't that critical, you know. Using. We're using these wafters. These are, do you see these little things here? There's like little barrels, aren't they? And there's some glug in there as well, some sweet smelly glug. Top secret glug mine. Can't tell you everything in one go, can I? Eh? Anyway, you can probably buy it from Sonu Bates actually. It's actually called washed out liquid. How about that? You never forget your first washed out liquid, do you? So what I'm gonna do, I've got I'll grab one of these wafters. And then I've got a little band on the hook there. See the hook there? And it's got a little little rubber band tied to it. Okay? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this thing here. This is like a fiendish torture device. And I'm gonna just expand the band with the little device. Not to try to do too much, because if you do it too much, you might Snap the band. You might snap the band, but fortunately, just like that, just like that, we got a winner. And then the next job, we've got to have to bait up the feeder weight. Okay, and I'm going to get away for this. No, you stay there, boy. You stay there. You stay there. We've got our little pellets here. All right, there's our there's our little wafters. When I say wafters, by the way, the reason for that is is they're not they 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 just sort of just sort of sink, if you know what I mean, when they're right. And so the, when a carp sucks them up, just like that, yeah, you go, into his lips. You've done that before, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do, we just put some of these pellets in here, right? These are two mil pellets, which I prepared earlier, as mm. the chefs say. And then what I do is just stuff them in there, and then I put that on the top of that. It's a little four-inch hook length. Oh, we have caught around my finger. Hook works. The hook works, everything works. I hooked myself just now, didn't I? Yeah. I know. That's how it goes. It is how it goes. So we just shove that in there, like so, and then get some more pellets, and then shove them around there, and give them a good squeeze. You see? 
how about that then? And then give them a good squeeze because well, I don't want them falling off during the cast, but I want a few pellets to stay on it nice and tight. That's quite a critical part of the operation because we're chucking this 64 meters. That's not bad for an old bloke like me, is it? That's very good. Hey, you know. Yeah. And I've changed the reel because remember we had that one that was going. Well, not anymore. Right, You're let's not... go out of your way. All right, like, well, like sea fishing, hooks hurt in the head and you need to get out of the way. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And just like that. That's it, chuck it back out there. Very peaceful, Chris. It is, isn't it? Just. I was just thinking. You know, we, we were just coming out of winter and the water's still really cold. The fish was really cold. And the fish are waking up, but they haven't, they will move around, particularly in the summer, they'll be all up them shallows and everywhere by then, you know. The moment they seem to want to be in that deeper water, don't they? Yeah, in your opinion, for people at home, why, why is that? I think we know why, but what would you say to someone who's probably never seen coarse fishing before? Well, you know, what often happens in the winter, particularly with carp, they will lay up in an area that they feel comfortable, that the temperature feels better for them. And often you can get massive numbers of the lake's stock all in one little area. You know, literally you could have a, a three acre lake and all the fish are within a couple of yards. And on a big lake like Shearwater, uh, there's a lot of water for them to swim around, isn't there, Wayne? A Laura Laura water, as Silly used to say. Hey, yeah, what's that then? Sound Sounds like thing. your reel. That's a bit like my reel, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I think my reel's noisier than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in. Yeah, we've got that drop car. back. It's a bream. It's a bit breamy. A bit of breamage. It's a bit breamage, I think. As I say, as Wayne said, drop back bites. So they're not always pulls on the tip. Sometimes the tip will just slacken off a bit. And that's, yeah. an, that's another bream. So what's the difference? How like, can you tell through your knowledge of fishing what fish you are? Probably like a lot of sea anglers, you kind of get used to how fish fight. What do bream fight like? Not a lot. <laughs> no, as you can see, Chris has just winded it straight in. <laughs> um, I wouldn't lie to you, Wayne. Not a lot. And this is probably a fish they probably two or three pound. Yeah. But you just get the old nodding donkey syndrome. Yeah. You know? Nod, 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 you know. Oh, Which is good for old pensioners like me, you know, who got a strenuous, it's not too strenuous playing one of these, is it? No. But of course, if it was in a match, and you catching 30 of these, you've got 100 pound of fish nearly, you know. How good is that? Yeah, it's just nice to get a few fish in the winter months. The sun's yeah, coming it's out. it's lovely, lovely. And there we are. Here we go. As expected. Well done, your fish ID is correct, sir. Oh, yes. It was always going to be one of those, wasn't it, Wayne? And there you go. A bit of sun on it there, Wayne. Lovely, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Well, that is a bream. <gasps> a slimy one. A slimy bream. Actually, they're not quite so bad this time of year, to be absolutely honest with you. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop him in the net there and just slip him back straight away. That's it, and you can see there, they're not the liveliest of creatures. It'll be okay. And there we go. There he there goes. goes, there he goes. Well done. Wow. We're catching bream on a bream feature. Well, we are, yes, we are. But it was really a secret carp we, feature. We wanted, we wanted to catch carp, and I still think we'll have some carp, but yeah. we might get plagued by bream. Okay. Could be a bit of Mr. Bream. Oh, well, we're getting bites getting in the middle bites. of winter. The sun's shining. It is now, yeah. We're on a beautiful lake. What more can you ask for? There's Ooh. a bit of a bite going on. A bit of a... A bream bite? Yeah, it's a bit of a breamy, I reckon, Wayne. A bit of a bream bite. Another bream. Right, so we're really grateful to catch a few bream, but what can happen, Chris? Well, of course, you can get Mr. Carp interrupt the party thing is, each bream you catch, you another two or three pound in your net, isn't it? Yeah. If you're a match ball, you're thinking, happy days. Yeah. Catch them all match, you're going to get a weight. 
But uh, as you can see, they're not a spectacular fighter. They're not like tarpon, are they? <laughs> or marlin. Yes. Eh? Mm, not yeah. really. They're good fun. They're, well, they are good fun. We're they getting bites. Fun because we'd rather be catching a bream than nothing, wouldn't we? Yeah. I think. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and we're very grateful. But we are very grateful. As you can see, we're just having a nice steady wind in here. That's all you've got to do with bream. You, got, you just keep, keep them coming. They're like little dogs on a lead. Like that woman that just walked by with them two dogs, wasn't it? In a pushchair. One in a pushchair, wasn't it? Yeah, it's not good. What's that about? Uh, woof, woof. Sif. That's a better one. Oh, huge. Oh, look at that. It's not a bad fish, actually, to be fair, is it? That's no. bigger fish. That's quite a nice bream, that. See the old method feeder, see the wafter in his mouth. There you go. Just Happy days. Now. You see that? Nice bream. See the little method feeder, the hybrid feeder. And then you see here, the little wafter just in his bottom lip there. Fabulous look. Happy days. Jobs are good. There nice. you go. I'm going to make it look huge now. That's what they do in fish photos, isn't it, Wayne? We don't. We don't do that, do we? We don't do that. I'm going to just pop them in the net and pop them back. Well done. We're actually doing really well here, Chris. You're getting a fish every chuck. Yeah, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Yeah, we had, we've not had our cakes yet. We haven't had our cakes, I'm getting hungry. Right, so what's going to happen is Chris is going to get <laughs> one more carp, hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to put the drone up and we're going to try and get some nice Yeah, footage. we want a carp, don't we? We want a carp on the drone. We do want a carp. Could I have that, um, that, that thing there, Wayne? That's it, so I'll wipe this slime off my hands. Yeah. I've got two towels. Because I'm, I'm sponsored by Sonu Bates, blatant plug. Sonu Bates. Hmm. It's got two towels. How good is that? There you you go. know you've made it when you've got two towels. Yeah, I've got no towels. <laughs> I've, got, I've got one actually, yeah. <laughs> it's not got a name on it though. Hey. Well. And there we are. Now let's see. Let's see if we can have another cast. A little bite then. Yeah, little pull. Well, you're probably on there. Is that you? Yeah, that's me then. That's you, was it? Oh, there, there he is. There he goes. He's got to be on, hasn't he? Yes. Have you got one, boy? I have this time, yeah. I'm just going to take my time, Mr. Ponsford. Good boy. That's it. Enjoy it, I say. Enjoy yeah. it. Enjoy the moment, Wayne. Well, I got a bit excited last time and dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it can't be helped. Well, things happen, don't they? Yeah. Mate, that was epic, your trip to Norway, wasn't it? No, that's very good, thanks. Oh, you can have some fish, didn't you? Yeah. Come on, Mr. Breen. Sure. Have you had that nod, nod, nod feeling? Yeah. <laughs> so, like all fishing, you just got to take your time, enjoy it. That's what we're here for. We love enjoyment, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Fishing is about enjoyment, it's not about. It's about taking part, but it's also about enjoying the day. Yeah. Having that nice cake, that was very enjoyable, I've got to tell you. That was quite a highlight. Yeah, good. You don't lose this one, Wayne. No pressure. I'm nervous now. <laughs> Just going to take my time. Keep that rod up, boy. Yeah, I've got him. You, you got your coming. Oh, look at that. You need to have the pleasure of our knocking it as well. I know, yeah. <laughs> oh. You're dressed appropriately with the green hoodie today, aren't you? I know, that's why, yeah, normally. There you go. Watch out, watch out. Watch out, son. Oh, you cool. Silly bramble. Look in the net it for you. Yeah, go on. There you go. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay. Hey, there we are, well we're, not we're not planking, are we? No, you're not planking, not at all. You're <sighs> three, don't you? Yeah. So there we go. That's what we came for. A Wiltshire Bream on a cold winter's day. What more can we ask for? That? We'll get this little chat back. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Chris, naturally. We've got a couple hours left and hopefully we can get into a few more of these and maybe a nice carp. Cheers everyone, and I'm definitely not kissing that one. Oh, well, we've got a bit of a bite going on here, Wayne. Oh yeah. Yes! And again? And guess what it is. 
I'm going to give you one guess. So start with a bra and then with an eam? Might do. Might just do. <laughs> Not a cut or a pa. <laughs> We're having a great time now. Yeah. We're doing fun things. We are having fun. Fun, fun, fun. Look at this. Look at this. This is how to play a bream, you see. Just pull the old rod along and give it, give it Widow Cranky on the reel. Here we go. Big, slow pull. That's the thing with bream. No point rushing. No panic. Well done. Nice. Sun's out. Nice and relaxed. Yes, sun's out. That's right. Can't believe the difference for this reel from the other one, Wayne. It's such a different reel. <laughs> he didn't make any yeah. noises, is it? That's a nice reel. I don't know what's happened to that one, to be absolutely honest with you. I've never had any problems with it in the past. It's probably 50 years old, though. No, it isn't. This is a Preston centrist, man. And, and i tell you what, if I ever take it apart, it'll never get back together. Mm. Well, that's a fact. Let's have a look at this fish, shall we? Yeah, oh, look, that's not oh, bad. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one, isn't it? It's a bream. It's a bream. That's a nice bream, though, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. It's a big old slabber. That's there lovely. we go. Lovely. In the sunshine. In the sunshine. How good is well that? Well done, Mr. Ponsford. Coast in the morning to find a place where no one knows our faces or our names. If we don't leave now, we might never make it out. Well, we've had an amazing day today, actually. We've um, it's been really great catching up with Wayne again. We've had loads and loads of bream, we've only had the one carp today. And as you can see, it's starting to get pretty murky now. But uh, we made the crucial switch. Was We were over on the other bank where it was shallow, only had a count of three. We come around here where we got a count of 12. It seems to have made all the difference. The fish have wanted to be in the deeper water today. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe on Wayne's channel. He makes great videos. I've thoroughly enjoyed the day. Thanks, Wayne, and I will see you another day.